Kino first. I'm Kino, and in this episode, we're going to talk about thirds. This avocado does not cut into thirds. It only cuts into yeah, two halves. One half plus one half. Well, that becomes a problem when we want to share it with three people. Hmm, we need a better strategy. What about this stack of magnetic squares? If we want to share it with three different people, we got to cut it into thirds. And there are nine squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hey, pizza. Seven, eight, nine. Go ahead and cut that pizza in half. We're going to share these nine squares with three people. So we need three equal piles. Here we go. Let's try this. I've got three piles, and let's make sure that each pile has the same amount. One, two, three. Yep. One, two, three. Uh huh. One, two, three. There we go. We have successfully cut the nine squares into three equal piles. So one third of nine is three. Okay, we've got a pizza. We're going to cut it into thirds because sometimes a half just won't do. Sometimes you have three people and you want to share it with three people. So, we're going to cut it like so. Ooh, look at that. One third, one third, plus a third. We now have cut the three sections out of the pizza that we need from one hole to share with three people. Here's some for Hezzy, here's some for me, and here's some for the Lego rocket. One third of a whole pizza. Yeah. What if you only have a half to begin with? Well, this is easy. Cut and cut, cut it twice, and then you will get three equal slices that we can share with our friends. One for the avocado, one for the rocket, and one for yours truly. So, we're gonna recap. Hey, avocado. If we have half a pizza, we can cut it into thirds by cutting twice. Each of these slices is one-sixth of a whole pizza because it's one of the six slices that make up the whole pizza. So again, oh, okay, let's share with the Lego people. If we have a whole pizza and we want to share with three people, here's one third, here's a third, and here's a third. Okay, the camera woman gets a third. This construction man gets a third. And then this computer programmer gets a third. Hey, why are you guys falling down on the job? Here we go. One third for the rocket, one third for you, and one third for me. Yeah. The number train. Woohoo! Here we go. What if we want to share these nine blocks with people? This is similar to the squares. We still have nine items. But this is convenient. One, two, three. That's a third. Four, five, six. That'll be a third. And then seven, eight, nine. That's another third. So we have one third of nine is equal to three. Three equal portions. go we have six Lego train cars or Duplo train cars one two three four five six with a bonus cat on top let's share it among three people so we're gonna divide it into thirds here we go two train cars for Hezzy two train cars for baggy and two train cars for yours truly so one third of six is one two one two 
One. One and two. Hey, don't fall over. One third of six is two. One third of nine is three. We're gonna do math problems like these every time we do a new math video. So smash the big red subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on any of the action. And if you need additional resources, you wanna head on over to the website right here. Videos, stickers, that sort of thing. Math is a powerful tool that the Almighty has given us to understand the world around us. So don't miss a beat here. See you next time. God bless. Okay, let's take a look at these 18 pieces here. If we want to cut 18 Lego pieces or separate them into thirds, then we just got to start making three piles and see if this is going to be equal. Equally divided into three piles. One, two, three. That's not the same as this pile. This pile is way more than three. Okay, so we gotta we gotta reshuffle here. Let's try this right here. It looks like I've got in the left pile one, two, three, four, five, and then in the middle pile I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven and five are not equal, so that's not right. And over here on the right we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. So we definitely have to do some shuffling here. Five, seven, six. Ooh, wait a second. What if I take one piece over here? Oh, okay, now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, which is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six. So, one third of 18 is six. When we make three equal piles, we can see that one third is six. All right. Spots is on top of the number 10 train. Oh no, Spots, can you get down? Whoop, whoop. Spots is stuck. Can the avocado help? The avocado can't help, but here comes the fire truck. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Thank you, fire truck, for saving Spots. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh no, the avocado! Extra cheese, anchovies, ooh. I've got a pizza, I wanna share it with my friends. Cut it in two for me and you and you, but a half won't do, do. Got a pizza with pepperoni, ham and pineapple, yummy. I want to share it with my friends Cut it in thirds for me and you and you That's what we will do, do, a do Do, do Let's find a third of three what is a third of three? Well, I think that's equal. Hey, watch out. What's going on here? I think a third of three is going to be one. Oh, no. Let's do another one. One third of Six. One third of six. Okay, so we got to cut six into three equal parts. We did this one earlier. It's two. A third of six is two because two plus two plus two, that equals six. 
I'm telling you that a third of six is two. So let's see why that's true. We're gonna cut it into three equal piles. Just like that. So one third of six is two. We have two, which is equal to two, which is equal to two. One third of six is two. We said a third of three is one because if you separate these into three equal piles, you get one, one pine cone. That's a third of three pine cones.